What's going on, guys? Fully from Custom Office. It's Custom Office. TV on YouTube. Peace. Howdy, partner. My name is Fuller with Custom Offsets TV. We got another from the game. What's going on, guys? Fuller here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube with your favorite host, Brian. Just kidding, he's nobody's favorite. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> We got another episode from the gallery. Don't worry, I'm not really this mean in person. I mean, not usually. Uh, we're going to take your trucks that you've submitted to the gallery, and then we're going to rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being not so hot, 10 being super duper hot. Uh, and Rainy's pretty opinionated, so this usually goes well. So we'll jump right into it. Oh my lord, what happened to the website? Give me some zoom. There we go. 2019 Toyota Tundra Anthem Commanders. 20 by 12, negative 44, 37 by 12 and a half nitro ridge straps, and a 6 inch pro count. Good photos, other than this one's got a stick in front of the wheel. It's hard to see that. Yeah, the photos are crispy. We appreciate it if you upload crispy photos. Like crispy, clean, not blurry photos. Mm -hmm, really do, seriously. Uh, NFAB bumper, light bar. Oh, what's up? And looks like he's got some lighting as well up on the uh, hood. He's got some big old shackles. A razor back. I don't know if that's what people call those still with a light bar on it. A headache rack. Same difference. It's an interesting color. I'm not sure if this is like because of the photo editing or if this is the actual color. I think it's that new, newer Oh, like TRD. that TRD Pro that yep. was in here? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's a raspberry color, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting. And this doesn't look like, I don't see the TRD decals. I don't know if it's actually a TRD or not. It's pretty slick. Uh, six inch pro comp, slight rub, minor metal trimming, rough country fender flares, Rough Country Sports Bar, they call it. Okay, okay. Got a number? Yeah. Three, two, one, Seven. eight. Seven. I really like this truck. Uh, the few things that I would change, I would probably pull off those fender flares or paint them to match. I just don't like how much they like stand out. And then the sport back. I'd yep. also probably remove. I would remove the sport back, and I would probably keep the flares because it's got more of an off-road look. But I'd paint mm -hmm. the. I'd, I'd probably color match the uh, the bumpers and the flares. Yeah. Other than that, I don't mind it. Because the the front end fab skid plate part that's still I don't know what they make it out of if it's stainless or aluminum or whatever it is, but it's still just like a raw metal yep. finish. Either paint that to match the truck or make it black. Maybe a couple couple of things to work on. But overall, the truck does look really nice, and I think like. It definitely has a theme of being an off-road truck that's Off-road that cleans up really well. Yeah. Good photos help that too. 04 Dodge Ram 2500 TS 544 red and milled. Firestone Destination MT2s. 35 by 12 and a half on stock suspension. Let's check out the details just to see. Yeah, inner fenders have been relief cut. You know, because you, you gotta do some sort of major metal trimming to fit those. Cab side of the front fenders was cut. So lots, lots and lots of trimming going on to stuff 35 inch tires. I'm a big fan of regular cab, so. This is a regular cab, long box, too. This, yeah. is, this is actually, you know, from the first picture, I didn't think I was gonna like it at all, and then when I got to the side profile, it looks pretty cool. Stuffing 35s in, in that truck is impressive. The nice part is you keep all your towing and usefulness while still looking good. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Otherwise, pretty much stock. I mean, there's a lot of effort, obviously, that goes into making these fit with all the cutting he had to do. But sometimes, like, the simple builds just kill it, and I think this is definitely one of them. All right. Number? Yep. Three, two, one, Seven. Eight. We're just going to pick the same number the whole time. Um, I'd probably pull off the steps. Being that it's, it's not tall, you don't need those, and I think it would kind of clean it up a little bit. I do actually like the red wheels on this because everything else is black. There's not, no other accents on the truck, so I think you can actually pull off a bright colored wheel. I would paint some of this front plastic and then maybe get the clear headlights that don't have the orange reflectors. Yep, I would definitely upgrade to a clear or if like Anzo makes a nice looking headlight or something or like that. Or a smoked one, and something just like, like that. An aggressive grill would just definitely set it off and make it look that much more aggressive. That's true. Pull that chrome one off there, maybe get an all black one. Especially in the only chrome part on the truck. Yeah, the cab lights too. You could go with a smoked option if you wanted to really get rid of all of the other like orange pieces on the truck. Other than that, it's clean and simple. It's got the nice flares on it. They're subtle, but they give it just that little extra girth on the body. Yeah, painted to match, and they're not uh, the rivet style ones, so they look just like a factory flare that's bigger. Those are chrome. Wow. 14, silver out of 1500, TS 544 Cs, so the chrome ones. 
22 by 12, negative 44, 35 inch uh, ridge graps, and an RCD suspension lift. It's a six inch. People are yelling in the shop. Well, this is one of those double cabs. I think they call them double cab quad in the Chevy cab. world. Quad cab. Yeah, the quad cab. It's like not, not a full crew cab. It's got smaller half doors. Painted to match fender flares. Big old chrome wheels, chrome steps. Stock chrome grill, chrome bumper. Got a bug shield, some tow mirrors. It's something like that lighter, all around like lighter truck look too, like the color, the chrome, which doesn't look bad. It definitely pulls it off very well with the paint color. Hmm. More so than like if it was all black with all that chrome. That's sure. a lot of contrast. That actually flows pretty well. Inch and a half wheel spaces out back just to flush up the fitment. All right, all right. Those 24s. 22s. 22 by 12s. Yeah. Three, two, one, Eight. six. I actually don't necessarily like the color combo on this truck. Obviously there's a lot of chrome from factory, but with this light, like I don't know what you call that pewter color. It's like sort of green, blue, gray. It's got a lot of colors to it. Yeah. Which is a hard color to work with. So if this is the truck you're given, you gotta work with it. Um, I would actually, I actually like black and chrome look, but. I do too, but sometimes like with my truck being a lighter gray, um, it's hard to figure out what you, like a black wheel on this might look small because it, it makes the whole truck look bigger. But other than that, it's a, it's pretty sharp and snazzy and it's definitely not a bad looking truck. It definitely means. does look way bigger. Like it's it's a six inch and 35, which isn't massive by any means, but it looks pretty huge. I think just because 22 inch chrome wheels look massive. Yep. 04 Ram 1500, Kelly Off-Road Switchbacks, 22 by 12, negative 51s and 35 inch RBP repulsors. The CST seven inch suspension system. It's got aftermarket headlights, big old moose mirrors flipped up, aftermarket taillights, painted to match bumper in the rear, paint to match valence in the front, but not the chrome bumper. Which is pretty common on uh, the early third yeah. gens. Because those, for people who don't know, painting chrome is kind of a pain. You know, really you want to strip all that off, and that's a lengthy process and ends up costing more, which is why people don't always do it. And I think it does tie in nicely with the chrome wheels. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, let's check out the other details. Slight rubber full turn, minor plastic trimming. Okay, nothing else we need to know. Ready for this one? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. Six. Uh, I'm surprised you rated it a six. Uh, I'm not a big fan of double bubbles. And I feel like if I would have if I'd have done the truck, you can buy the lower chrome piece mm -hmm. uh, in a paintable version, and I would have gotten a color match just so it flows a little bit more. Yep. Um, but then would you store on chrome wheels? Because then it's... Yeah, a red's one of those nice colors, but chrome just works either way. Mm -hmm. uh, red and black looks good too, but red and chrome can definitely pop. I really like these wheels because they look like a forged wheel. They look very similar to like American Force has one just like this. Um, also, like, have not been a huge fan of Rams historically, but I think a big part of it for me is I think the stock headlights are pretty ugly. Yep. But these aftermarket ones with the LED running lights I actually think look significantly better. So that's why it does bump up the score a little bit. Um, also, red trucks, we don't see a ton of. And I do think red and chrome really pops. Like it definitely gets your attention. So that's what I got. Interesting. Uh, 2015 GMC Sierra 1500, fuel full blown 22 by 12 negative 44s, hiatus mud champs, and a six inch BDS. So nice wheels, nice lift, uh, and then some more affordable tires. Interesting. Some custom paint work on these wheels here. I think they got that. They got the wheels painted, the the grill, and then the fender flares, and probably the mirror, the lower portion of the mirrors painted all at once, which helps tie in all the color at once. Aftermarket grill as well. It's got a fuel badge in it. Does that mean yeah, fuel now makes? It. I don't know if they make grills or if this guy just had one put in there. It's possible to match his wheels. Some mud flaps. Those are aftermarket ones. Uh, some tube steps, no tint or anything like that, stock lighting, no spacers, no rubbing, no trimming. No, you can't walk through our shop. What the f Yes, you just said it, you know, you might as well walk through. No, come in, Jerry, so that people can see. We're almost finished the Here's video. Here's Jerry from Team Archon. <clears throat> nice custom offset shirt, Team Archon. Represent. Thank you. You're welcome, love you. 
Come on, Jerry. 35 is on a six inch with 12 eyes and 44s. I feel like either it's got a rub or there has to be trimming. I know it doesn't say that there is, but. All right. What's well, possible with the, oh, those are 12 wides. I know, they, they're, they're they very look, deceiving. They look like nine wides. I think it's because of the paint. I, I some people, if you upload your information, please do it correctly. Um, because I, I guess those back ones, though, they may be a 10 wide. I'm thinking they're a 10 wide, which would, because usually with a six inch lift, BDS tends not to push out, but yeah. even then it should still stick out two and inches. And like if you look at the tires, so if those are 12 and a half inch tires, you've got a decent amount of rubber sticking out on each side. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that these are probably 10 wides. Yep, that's my thought process as well. But definitely 22s, because there's not much sidewall. Okay, all right, number? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. 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 Yeah, uh, it's a good daily setup. Uh, most states don't allow a lot of tires sticking out. Yeah, that's true. They don't like the big wide tires like I have on mine. Um, it's still an aggressive looking truck. You know, it, it stands up nice and tall and it's got some width to it, but it's not enough to where like a state boy's gonna... <laughs> gonna screw you over yeah, every he, time you drive by. He's not by. gonna harass you and make, make it to where driving to work's a pain like it is for me. <laughs> um, you always have problems. Yes. I went so low simply because the paint color on the wheels, the first time I looked at it, I thought it was really bad brake dust. And then I also think that that paint color eats up some of the lip, where it, they don't look as wide as they probably could. Um, and then it's almost too much color match for me. When people do their wheels the exact same color as the body, yeah. I think it can be a little too much of one color. I like to see some sort of contrast, which he does pull off with the chrome. He's got the chrome mirror caps, chrome steps, chrome centers of the wheel but there's still a lot of this maroony red color going on and it doesn't quite do it for me. But lots of, lots of work into this truck too and lots of money in paint. So definitely appreciate everybody's build. Uh, if you guys wanna add yours to the gallery and get it rated, you can do so at customallsys.com forward slash add. If you don't already know what the gallery's for, basically we've got all the specs you need to figure out what fits your vehicle, that's why we built it. So you can check that out at customallsys.com forward slash gallery. Uh, if you guys have one that you want us to do, drop the link to it in the comments below. Peace.